hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya same and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great so according to the new york times the students for uh fair admission they grew all know remember the group behind the lawsuit against harvard that ended affirmative action right across the u.s they had their threatening that are to sue princeton and that yell duke for their illegal non-compliance with the Supreme Court ruling, right? Now, let me tell us this. You see, anti-blackness is a detriment to all marginalized groups because this is something that they have refused to understand. You know, no matter how we tell you people, no matter how we try to scream and actually a lot of you people, you all always feel like black people are, I mean, probably they have a lot to say or they always want to be everywhere because Black women must especially warn you people not to go ahead with that. But you all thought that we are the most benefited when it comes to affirmative action, forgetting that our white women are. And then you all, like, you know, they pushed you all to do it. I mean, and you all went ahead to do what you did, right? So all this while they've been pushing you all or using you all as pawns and using you all also against your own interests because right now you all can see the decline that is happening. I know you all are running helter skelter because you all are looking for a way out. You know what? Black people will not be helping you all this time around and uh, black people will be sitting this one out. Let's get into this video. Asians, how y'all feeling right now? Come on, it's okay. It's okay. How y'all feel that y'all acceptance rate has dropped? <laughs> y'all had a white man trick y'all into filing a lawsuit to get affirmative action taken away from basically everywhere. That your school acceptance rate could go up because you felt like you were smarter than black folks. And that shit dropped. And not only did it drop, black folks stayed the same. Y'all let a white man trick y'all into some shit. <laughs> y'all let that imaginary tether to the proximity of whiteness fuck y'all up. Maybe they want to get y'all asses out the way. Y'all were fucking up their acceptance rate. It's funny because y'all got played. And we sitting right here still getting the same acceptance rate and now y'all filing a lawsuit because <laughs> y'all shit dropped you can't make this shit up i just want to know how y'all are doing are y'all are y'all okay <laughs> who y'all finna sue next the air what the united states postal service maybe your application didn't make it there <laughs> what is y'all excuse now <laughs> asians Something for you. <laughs> we try to tell y'all, the according to the New York Times, the students for fair admissions, the group behind the lawsuit against Harvard that officially ended affirmative action across the U.S. has threatened to sue Princeton, Yale, and Duke for their alleged non-compliance with the Supreme Court's ruling. So I went to the New York Times article to see what the hell is going on, right? <laughs> the group, Students for Fair Admissions, has focused on three universities, Princeton, U <laughs> uh, Princeton, Yale, and Duke, where there were notable declines in Asian American enrollment this year compared with the last year, which the group says defied expectations. Defied what expectations? <laughs> On Tuesday, Students for Fair Admissions sent letters to schools questioning whether they were complying with the rules laid by, <laughs> by the Supreme Court. Princeton, Duke, and Yale also saw minor differences in Black and Hispanic enrollment in the first class of students admitted since the court struck down race-conscious admissions. So the same group who went out of their way to get rid of affirmative action across the United States because it's race-based is now trying to sue three schools saying that they're not allowing certain races into their school. That was the whole purpose of the affirmative action, to make sure that the playing field was equal. But no, y'all went and listened to the white supremacist dude. He took y'all, took y'all all the way to the Supreme Court. Y'all got rid of affirmative action because of your anti-blackness. And now you're realizing 
it's going to happen to you. See, a lot of people don't understand. When black people have an equal playing field, every other race, including white women, have an equal playing field. But you let that white supremacist man trick y'all motherfuckers, and now you're seeing the consequences of getting rid of affirmative action. It didn't just help black people. It helped all marginalized, but it especially helped white women. But now you're trying to sue off of discrimination? <laughs> We try to tell y'all. We try to tell y'all. I'm gonna giggle my ass. <laughs> Keep thinking that they care about y'all. They don't give a shit. They put y'all in this hierarchy and it went to your heads. And now you are seeing. Now you are seeing. You are reaping the consequences of your anti-blackness. Anti-blackness is bad for everyone, not just black people. Again, when the playing field is level, it is equal. For black people, it is equal, or even better, for everyone else. It's just a fact. But I'm laughing my ass off. Good luck. <laughs> we try to tell y'all. <laughs> Princeton, Yale, and Duke, where there were notable declines in Asian American enrollment this year. Comp I want you to go back and watch my sister Mia's video. The whole thing. Watch it all the way through, because she's absolutely 100% correct. Asian community. Yeah. You. People that look like me, okay? We need to start listening to black women because they're right. We have to stop being used as pawns for white supremacy, okay? Because look at this. Look at what happened. Came back and bit us in the ass, didn't it? Because we didn't fucking listen. Didn't listen. Some of us knew that it was a ploy, a trick. You know, they're going to use us and say, oh, we accept you. You're the chosen ones. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. They don't give two shits about us either. So, you need to listen up. As minority groups, we need to stand strong together. We need to stop being tricked by white supremacy, okay? Because there's a lot of us that knew exactly what would happen. Yeah. We knew that the outcome would be this. So, Asian community, wake the fuck up. Wake up. So, Yale, Princeton, and Duke have been threatened with a lawsuit over the decline in Asian American enrollment since the removal of affirmative action. If you're new here, this page is dedicated to the shared experiences of Black college students and grads from HBCUs to PWIs. The numbers that the team is pressed about Duke went from having 35% of Asian American students enrolled to 29%. Yale went from having 30% of students enrolled to 24%. Princeton went from having 26% of Asian American students enrolled to 23.8%. What do you think the Black enrollment is at each of these schools? Black enrollment has remained just about the same. And so when we are talking about a decrease in Asian American student enrollment, how is it that black student enrollment is taking away? It's like the math is not mathing. They don't have a problem with the fact that 40% of students are enrolled at colleges that accept legacy admissions. Legacy admissions based on the history of this country who are predominantly white. They don't have a problem with legacies benefiting from a system. So instead of looking at the legacy admissions at these universities, they're honing in on a small percentage of black students who are enrolled at these universities and saying the black students are taking our spots, as opposed to looking at where a majority of the admissions are coming from. I'll never forget, because I went to the University of Georgia, predominantly white institution. I remember being in a class and having the dreaded conversation about affirmative action with my peers and then saying like, you know, hey, I don't think this is right because you're taking the spot of a friend who was more qualified than you to be at this institution. Okay, so you think I took your friend's spot, but we just got our test scores back yesterday. I got 100 on that test. What did y'all get? I saw some of the papers come back with 50s and 60s, etc. But I don't deserve to be here. Maybe you took your friend's spot. How about that? Because you're flunking, you're frying bacon in the back of a classroom, you're getting the answers to tests from your fraternity or sorority, and I'm sitting here studying because I don't have access to that level of privilege. And what I want people to be honest with themselves about 
is not everyone is pulling themselves up from their bootstraps. Let's get rid of that American meritocracy theory of you work hard and you get X outcome. Because some of you are not working hard, but you think your outcomes are because you worked hard. And when people don't have those same outcomes, it's not because they're not working as hard as you. It's because they don't have that same level of privilege, proximity, or luck and chance. So all I wanna say is black students at PWIs, you have earned your spot. You're gonna graduate and you're gonna do great things. Don't let people say that you don't deserve to be there. I'm Liz, the creator of Poe Up, a party game celebrating black college students and grads. Stay tuned for more content celebrating black collegiate life and check out this question from Poe Up Card Game to try at your next game night. As an Asian, I've always had complicated opinions about affirmative action because it always sometimes felt like we had to work harder than others to um, get into the right colleges. But also as a child of immigrants, I really do believe that everyone should have a fair and equal chance to get into college. As a former high achieving Asian, this actually isn't the win for Asians as some might think it is. While removing affirmative action might increase the percentage of Asians in elite colleges, it's not going to be the opening up the floodgates that some might imagine because even amongst Asians, there is a huge range of outcomes between those who are very ahead in school and those who are not. I think this latest decision by the Supreme Court is a loss for everyone because it really destroys the ability for people to take into account your extenuating circumstances, even if you all end up with you know the same scores and the same results, some people had to work so much harder to get there because they didn't have the necessary support and resources to help them along the way. So this is all I got from this video and uh, I don't know if it's uh, what to do or what to say or to laugh or to smile. But the truth is that uh, some people are very used to thinking that black people are their problem. And this is the mindset some people really do need to get rid of. Why? Because it has cost them so many things. And the fact that some people also have refused to learn from their past mistakes, right? Now, let's talk about this affirmative action. You all know that it's the struck out of, in fact, it started from 2023 when they felt like uh, we are benefiting more or like, you know, that they deserve better or like uh, they just wanted to be anti-black, right? Let me say this before I continue. Somet most, most times when people are trying to be anti-black, right? You are trying to hurt us and at the same time hurting yourself, right? Because if they had listened, I remember that was, I mean, like in 20, it started in 2022, and in 2023, it was like a thing. And before we know what's going on, like, you know, it was uh, like, you know, struck out completely, right? They thought that we are the ones benefiting more and that uh, we probably deserve, we do not deserve most of the things happening to us, right? And for that reason, let's get rid of it. Black people call them and say, this thing you all are trying to do is absolutely going to harm everybody include okay it is going to harm us and every other person but we are already used to things like this but we don't know what is going how it's going to turn our body maybe in the end it's going to hurt or harm you people the more and it's just like more like black people or are looking for a way because it's always us holding all the powers or holding some certain things to ourselves where why because it's black people so for that reason this case, uh, they wrote uh, their petition and from petition to court. And before we know what's going on, affirmative action was right. And then forgetting that they also did not do that. I mean, the people that also pushed them, because you all remember that some people also pushed them to do it, you know, go ahead. I mean, do it. I mean, just do it, right? Not knowing that they were absolutely using them. And now let me tell us something. When you get to the point where you listen to people, I mean, like you listen to the same person that is oppressing you, it means you already lost it without even knowing. And black women, black people saw, in fact, black, let me not say black, black women saw 
ahead of time. And it was more like it was going, in fact, it kind of became a story for like a month on the internet. And continuously, people were trying to advise, people were saying that uh, they were trying to use them as pawns, right? And they refused to listen, right? And in the end, they got what they wanted because that was what they wanted so hard. They got it, and now they can see what it's going on. And now they are like Yale, Princeton, and Duke are questioned over the client in Asian students. What do you expect? The percentage is absolutely very low. And I really hope that they are happy and that I hope they are doing great. I hope their temperature is not like, you know, increasing. And um, they are, the fact that they decided, decided to like take affirmative action from any, everywhere because they felt like they are really smarter than every other person, not knowing that uh, they were helping white people to, you know, to fulfill their purposes. So now they can see. And now looking at the people that benefit more from affirmative actions are no other people than women, right? Now, let me tell you, you see proximity to whiteness is really a very huge disease because during that period that was going on, I mean, there were some of them, especially the younger ones, the younger Asians that already felt like they are not Asians. You know, the way they speak, the way they talk, you can actually uh, feel that, uh, I mean, they already feel like they are this. I mean, some of them were really very pretty rude coming online to speak. I mean, oh, we have to take a stand because, you know, there is need to stand in it. And then I love the fact that they, <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the fact that they took a stand and now they can see what it's going on. And I am going to say this next time, hmm? next time black women say pim. You better be pin. When I say pin, pin is shut up. You better shut up. When they tell you something, you better listen. If not, you all are still going to make this mistake. And the truth is that if care is not taken because they are so good at doing things like this, I really do not know the reason why they feel like we do not deserve anything that is happening to us or we are not even entitled to anything. We are not supposed to benefit anything like, you know, they will still, trust me, they will still wake up one day and make mistakes like this. And we always at a corner laughing and giggling. And that is what it is. So a very big shout out to you guys. I doff my hat. I don't have any hats, but you all can see I am doffing something for you. I hope you all are doing great. I hope your parents are breathing fine because most of you wants to go to year. How about breathe? Like, I hope you all are breathing fine. I hope you all are good. I hope you all are ripping. It's called ripping the fruit of your labor harvest. And Thanksgiving is coming very soon. So it's also part of the reason why you should also get ready for Thanksgiving, you know, in next month. I am so happy for you all. And I hope you are happy for yourselves. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.